Well, greetings. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the fascinating world of memory and brain function. And some of you might start thinking, wow, another sermon about not forgetting things. I can't remember how many times I've heard sermons on that topic. But don't be afraid. I'll, I'll try to blend some divine wisdom with a touch of humor and some practical advice that's going to make this a memorable video. We live in a funny age. You know, some people still have what we call telephone landlines, phones in their home connected by wire. But these folks mostly use them to call their cell phones because they forgot where their cell phones are. And then, thinking about it, they need the cell phone because it has an app on it that helps them find their car keys because they've lost their car keys. They don't know where they put them. And this kind of forgetfulness is largely due to being busy and distracted and just plain inattentive. We're often forgetful of things and that could lead to becoming forgetful of people. And we forget that we were supposed to pick somebody up at a certain time. We got busy, we got distracted. Or we forget that we were supposed to meet somebody for dinner. But because we were inattentive and didn't realize what time it was, we missed it. And we miss op appointments all the time because we lose our focus on what's really important. Stay focused on heaven. Since you were brought back to life with Christ, focus on the things that are above where Christ holds the highest position. And keep your mind on the things above, not on worldly things. Colossians 3 verse 1. Lately, there's been a lot of television advertising for memory enhancement supplements. And I was at my pharmacist and I asked him recently about them. And he said, you know, those uh, memory supplements are a big seller. And a lot of people say they help them uh, have better focus and uh, mental alertness. These kind of supplements are called nootropics and they claim to improve memory or focus mental energy, and problem-solving skills. And while they all promise to deliver benefits, the reality is many of them fail or fall short. Some of the most popular brands use ineffective or insufficient doses of ingredients, and many contain low-quality fillers. Now, while some folks seek to sharpen their memory and thinking about day-to-day -day things, others wonder, is there a way to sharpen our spiritual focus? Yes, there is. To keep your brain in tip-top shape, use this biblical wisdom. The scriptural secret to sharp minds is this. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge or submit to him, and he will direct your paths. Uh, trusting in the Lord means relying on his guidance and his wisdom. And that can be a big help when we're trying really hard to remember where we put our reading glasses, you know, or where's our cell phone? Let's be honest. If God can create the universe, surely he can help you and I find our misplaced keys. Also stay active. Proverbs 31, 17 talks about the virtuous woman who sets about her work vigorously. And staying physically active can help keep your brain sharp. Exercise increases the blood flow to your brain and encourages the growth of new neurons. So don't be shy. Get moving and keep those neurons dancing. Keep learning. 2 Timothy Chapter 2, verse 15, the Apostle Paul encourages us to be diligent workers who do not need to be ashamed. Learning new skills or studying new subjects keeps your brain engaged. And whether it's taking a class on Bible history or mastering the art of making the perfect souffle, keep your mind active and curious. Stay learning and stay connected. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 says... Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. Social interaction is a great way to keep your brain healthy. So engage with your friends and relatives. Join a Bible study group or volunteer for, for
for things. Socializing helps stimulate your mind and creates a network of support. And finally, practice mindfulness in prayer. Psalm 46.10 says, Be still and know that I am God. Taking moments to pause, pray, and meditate can help reduce daily stress. And this can improve your cognitive functions, your thinking abilities. A calm and focused mind is better equipped to remember and process information. Since you already have these skills, be wise. Use them frequently. Like the old saying goes, use it or lose it. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today for your goodness and mercy to us. We pray that you'll guide us and keep us sharp, keep us active, keep us with this perfect mind that you have placed within us. We pray these things together in Jesus' name. Amen.